Ponaguaja is, I'd say it's in the adventure of a lifetime. Not an adventure only in the sense of the, the physical achievement or anything like this. It's, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it makes you rethink life, uh, uh, rethink possibilities, understand what you're capable of doing, not only alone, but especially with the team uh, uh, and with people that just come together. And not only riders and support crew, but everyone, all the community that's, that's always around us and, and supporting us. So it's been the experience of a lifetime. This morning was amazing, amazing. Uh, it was very beautiful sunrise, warm coming in and all the, the, the children going to school uh, while we passed the villages. So there were several, uh, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen so many uphills in my life. But uh, the, the downhills were sweet and you know the views were just so amazing that it made all the hard stuff go away. Yeah, on our way from McClare to Kofstad, and we even we see the kids along the way, the villagers, and you see them walking to school from one side of the mountain to the other side. It's just amazing. You, you, when you look at it, it's just how privileged we are that uh, back home that kids get ferried to school, uh, they have public buses, and very few of them walk to school. And this one, the whole lot of them are walking to school and they all look so cheerful in the cold, looking forward to going to school. This is, this is really amazing and I think it's a lesson for all of us. The, the, the hardest day um, yet. Um, started off first 50 k's, beautiful, best scenery we've seen uh, on, on the trip. Um, everyone on a high. Spectacular scenery with the mountains just kept changing all the time so uh, weather was fabulous and then we uh, crossed out of the East Cape and into KZN and um, weather continued. It was a tough day. Um, then after breakfast we went into probably the, the most difficult path that we've been through on the uh, on the journey so far. Really we need to allow communication stopped. It was really difficult for everyone. We really struggled. But then we got to lunch, um, had a good lunch, support crew gave us some, 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 some food, we got a, we got a message from an um, Ectonokwaja, spirits were lifted and we had a really great um, afternoon session, uh, stuck tight um, and speed was up and we ended on a high. Um, so overall great day but tough. Team Physio and myself and Jeff will make sure that the team has everything they need on the road and um, yeah they're struggling with their calves, hamstrings, quads and something like this. Of course the legs are tired but uh, luckily we haven't had any proper injuries um, this trip. 2200 meters of climb, 183 k's, so um, yeah, it was a tough day but we got through it well and, and the team really bonded well. They say day two, day eight are the toughest and I think we smashed that today, so here with uh, a bit of time in Cogstad and um, yeah, we're, we're ready to relax and, and nail day 9, 10 and 11, so bring it on. And thanks to St Patrick's once again for hosting everybody and Cockstad is one of the highlights I know of, of Bunagwaja. So thank you everybody and it's, it's lovely to have all you guys here. We say I get my annual fix of Bunagwaja. <laughs> and you guys are just so inspiring and so humbling. Um, it's just every year, I don't know, it seems to get better and better. And you people are, are just absolutely amazing. Thank you for what you're doing for our country for our children, for our people.